All right, here we are. Yes, we are here. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the on? final day, the final night in Bisbee, Arizona. We are doing uh, 75, uh, excuse me, uh, yeah, 75 miles an hour. We are traveling um, uh, southeast right now, heading towards Bisbee. We're on I-10. The weather is overcast with uh, slight showers. The barometer is dropping. However, uh, Heidi is under the van right now. I, I, I thought I heard a squeak, and she's under there. Uh, she's fixing. I thought so. She's, yeah, so she's, she's, she's just very handy to have around. Yeah. Uh, Heidi, hurry up! All right. She's adding blinker fluid. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> we have a smoking night last night uh, in, in, at the Dubliner, the night before Fibbers. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant fun. Now we're going to the historic town of Bisbee. We're going to have footage and pictures and stuff of Bisbee. It, it, as you can see, the mountains here, and you can see the, the terrain is just gorgeous. The, the, it's only 55 outside. It feels like it's 70. We're um, keeping our promise, taking you with us on tour. We've had a, a, had a ball. Of just Heidi Riggs is playing out of her fucking mind. Uh, Turbo is on fire. Chad has been just unstoppable. We've just had the best time this weekend. Yeah. So I just want to warn the rest of America. We we are able to go. Oh, how many how many miles is this? Uh, I mean, from Houston to months. to Bisbee, Arizona, to you know, to yeah, and back in a weekend. And uh, you know, if you're not playing rock and roll, you can't do it. You know, or or, or if you're if you're a pussy. So anyway. <laughs> Talk to me, fellas. What's happening? I'm Eric, excited. Just... I'm excited to finally see Bisbee. We've heard so many things about it, um, both from learning about Doug, our new friend, and from you visiting last year. So this has been cool. Of course, we intended to be here last summer. So this was uh, really, really happy we're able to work this out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've been. I lived in Arizona for 20 years. I've never been to Bisbee. If I have, I don't remember. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm yeah. Like, All right. Heidi and Turbo have tons of family and friends yeah. in and around uh, all all over Arizona. So we had packed houses last night thanks to them, and just uh, it, it, it's, it's been a blur, but it's just thrilling yeah. to, to to see and meet all those people <laughs> who are now you know part of the fold. Yeah. So. Uh, we really do need, we need to start a cult. We really do. Yeah. We need to see about that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think we say we need to start with no sleeves. Damn it. <laughs> Who did it? Guys, that's not funny. We need to start, you know, like full sleeve tattoos and no sleeves to start, you know? Yeah. So, so, so. There we go. We can pull the full sleeve, no sleeves. I do sleeve like the shirt though. You like the shirt? Yeah, no. I'm about to get uh, one for me. Oh, okay. I like it. Well, you know, if you gain about 300 pounds, you can have, you can have this one. your style. Yeah. <laughs> I do want to say, uh, I do want to give a shout out to Tammy and uh, King of the Bull Shows, and Chandler and Phoenix, and she's coming to Bisbee. So, old childhood friend, and she's like, man, I'm, I'm coming. I had a good time. Let's do this. I'm like, all right. So, the rice shout is out nice. To Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. Yeah, we got to meet, we got to meet also all these wonderful people. Yeah, but the, 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 one of the high points for me is meeting Heidi's. Heidi, hurry up! God damn it! Uh, one of the high points was meeting uh, Heidi's, Heidi's family. She's a pistol on her own. But now, when you get to see, when you get to go to the environment, you go to the source and you see why and how she is who she is. It's um, her, her family are second to none. Everybody that we met, we met her brother, we met her mother, we met, uh, you know, her, of course, her husband. Ryan and uh, her son Nick and Ben, the dog. We just, we just you know, I'm blown away, absolutely yeah. blown away. And then she and she gave us a whole bag of yeah. stuff to take with us on the road for snacks to take. You know, I, I, I kind of feel bad though. She's not, you know, in the car. Yeah. She says she's all right. She's waving. Oh, yeah. no, I think she's fine. She's fine. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, okay. But I hope he doesn't mess her hair. Yeah. You can probably tell from the video we're pretty fucking excited right about now. So, uh, can't wait to see you all back in Houston. Uh, check out the website. We've got Patty's Day coming up, and we've got a whole bunch of new stuff coming out. And yeah, uh, yeah, just in uh, Ireland. People are still signing up for Ireland. God. Yeah, we said this before. We we'll say it again. Unfortunately for y'all, uh, we're gonna have to do this every single time, buddy. If you're coming, call Doc. Uh, 
let's get signed up because it's it really is it's uh, shaping up to be the best I know everybody thinks of me as Nostradamus, but I cannot see the future, but I will bet money that this is the best tour yeah. by by a long shot. I think so. Just because of the, 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 the time spent putting it on. Yeah. It's time spent on this. So. Yeah. It's filling up. Yeah. So yes, it is. it is. Yes, it is. Don't be last. Yeah. How are you holding up in Bisbee? Are they treating you right? Oh, I fucking love it. Yeah, there's no monotony here. I never get bored. As soon as you drive through that tunnel, you're like, what the fuck? This is fucking crazy beautiful. Check out here to your left. Santa Claus. Oh, that's cool. So this, like I said, this is a little tiny town. So you see all the way up the, into the mountains. There's the little, little cabins, little houses. Ask for a free espresso. And then we're just gonna go drive right into that. Yeah, good way to be welcomed. Uh-huh. You ready, Turbo? Yep. Yeah. He seems to be fucking kidding me, he's turbocharged. Right. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Slapper Cat. Hey, would you slap a number on this, please, young Smalley? This, believe it or not, is episode number 206. 206. Nice. 206. Oh my I like god. That. Yeah, 200, yeah. And we are leaving. The sweet little town they call Bisbee. Bisbee, Arizona. Did, did you have a good time? Yeah. yeah. I want to go What's back. That? Yeah. Now. Can we go now? Yeah. I'll just <laughs> flip this car around. So, boys and girls, let me just uh, we just let you into a little secret. So, the temperature here in Bisbee, beautiful Bisbee, beautiful, bodacious Bisbee, Arizona, is 48 degrees and dropping. There's a storm coming in tonight, and we are heading, uh, right now we're going southeast, but in a moment we will be going east on I-10. We're hitting, uh, we're gonna We're gonna drive from 9.56 Central Mountain Time to Houston, Texas in one shot. Yep. So, and we've got 150 miles on the gas tank, so we're gonna have to praise the Dark Lord <laughs> okay. in, in order to make that happen. Okay. So, uh, there's been a lot of sacrifices. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Scared the crap out of that crowd tonight. <laughs> Everybody's just sad. Just the one guy, is like, yeah, me too. It doesn't bother me. Yeah. I love, I love, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so let's, let's. I was like, he might be serious. <laughs> he is. I was. But uh, so I'll rewind the tape. Just uh, the quarry, Bisbee, Arizona. Thank you, Doug Stanhope. Thank you, Greg Chaley. Yes. Thank you, uh, the, the Doug and his whole team. Uh, uh, just. God. Anyway, as you can tell, there's not a lot of room. So uh, the wonderful Heidi Riggs is on the roof. Hanging off for dear life, but she's got those fingers, she can do it. We're not worried. Anyway, thank you, Heidi. But um, Bisbee, Arizona, this was a, this is the band's first time here, my second, and I could not be more in love with this town. Yeah, we used to spend like several days here. Yeah, time. yeah. Uh, Chad even floated the idea of, uh, he's, Chad goes, hey, screw it's Ireland next to the year. Let's just, uh, let's do Bisbee. Bisbee. <laughs> but uh, we'll it's, it's, it's copper. Well, yeah. Better. Yeah, mine forever. Yeah, uh, yeah. I want to see the mine. I want to do the mine tour. Yeah, uh, yeah. So there's, there's. I mean, there's so much to do. Such a beautiful town. Food's great. Breakfast club. Thank you. Nice job. Oh, that was yeah. great. Uh, quarry. You've got great, great food. My God, great, great, great people. Um, so uh, Dana at Quarry. Thank yes, you. Yes, thank you, Dana. Uh, Divine, Divine. Thank Divine you. Bar. Um, uh, all the cooks, all the staff. Wonderful. Anyway, great stage. Great fucking stage. So the big stone stage. It's a, it's a, it kind of, you know, it's it, it's just nice because you have that rock underneath you, and then we deliver the rock, and it's the quarry, so it's just it's a rock and rock and rock and rock and roll room. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's so good. Thank, thank you, thank you to Paul from Texas City too, who bought us our beers. Good man, Paul. About time you bought something. Yeah. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was that. That was thirty minutes of the show. Yeah, but and John and Bear is that right? From uh, Jonathan and Bear. Jonathan and Bear. From, yeah, they live in Sierra Vista now. Jonathan's from Texas as well. Well, if, if you're a if you're a super Patreon subscriber, we'll give you their address. You can go stay with them. Yeah, tell, yeah that's the next tell, tier. Tell them we sent you. Yeah. Uh, no, great people. Um, yeah. And also, uh, Nikki and uh, uh, Fred came out. And Fred. Yeah. yeah they, they made the Twice. drive out. Yeah. They tried, made the drive out from Phoenix. So. Yeah. Uh, that was wonderful. Were they there in Chandler too? Yeah, yeah. So they came to all three shows. No, 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 no. They, they, they weren't in. Uh, they weren't in Fibbers. They were only in Fibbers. They weren't in. Chandler. They didn't come to. Oh, okay. <coughs> we had Tammy and Tyler. That's in Phoenix right. too. 
Tammy Tammy that's right Tammy, Tammy, Tammy came, came three times three shows in a row she did and we got to meet her husband tonight. I've never yeah. met a girl that's come wait <laughs> stop it anyway let's go back to the show so tonight we made some quip I say we about sacrificing you know praising the dark or whatever the whole, the whole room went dead silent except one guy oh, hold on yeah, Satan yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was great nice nice room people were very appreciative yeah. and you could tell they didn't have anything like that playing in that town before because it was it was so cool there was people at the windows you know people were shopping bags and they're going by the window they go I'm going come in come in <laughs> but the, the stage is really high up it's about um, it's about five feet up in the air and it's a it's a big like I say a big uh, it could be an altar yeah it really could I mean it's just just phenomenal yeah it's, it's kind of weird but a great state and they have it decorated and there's and there's some great pictures that Chad will add good lad but just everybody here uh, that came out we had people drive I mean I, I, Turbo and Heidi had all their family and friends come in from all over yeah, you, I mean, it's awesome. I mean, everywhere, right? Lake Havasu. Yeah, to, you know, some from Havasu, and uh, you know, opposite sides of Phoenix. Uh, I think some from Wickenburg, kind of halfway through, and Peoria. It's nice. God, yeah. Wow. I was just, I was amazed because the Dubliner was wall to wall, Fibber McGee's wall to wall, and tonight actually should have. We really are. We're, we're, we're. Uh, I don't know which direction the storm is coming from. I believe north. Um, we're traveling southeast. That's yeah, I think uh, we're trying to get ahead of it. Yeah, so we're trying to uh, dodge that. But a lot of people, uh, our friend Stewart in Silvertown, uh, Arizona, he was, he and some friends were coming, and they, uh, they didn't come. And then uh, anyway, so <laughs> they were. Uh, well, no, they, uh, he texted today, and he said he wasn't going to make it. Yeah. But I think there's a lot, there's a little bit of fear about this storm because I didn't know anything about it, and uh, we're going to drive so fucking fast we're not going to see it. But just. Again, such a great. This will be a regular stop. Yes, it will. As a, as a thanks to you and Heidi, this will be a regular stop. Yep. Oh, I can't wait to come back. Top tier. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are from Phoenix or you're anywhere in Arizona, please keep an eye on our our, our website. Hit subscribe right now, if you will. Slappercast. Yes. The best way to do it is sign up on the website. We do send out a mailer, but it's not weekly it's not every day and it's not you know it's it, it's we, we don't inundate your you know so I, I, I would say subscribe or not or just check back the website's always up to date and yeah. uh bands in town also a really keep, good way to keep yeah. our dates i never think of that yeah. i never think about it of course i'm not on the computer except right. for yeah. gr grinder and you know who, who's your daddy yeah. dot com do you think your grinder's the number one subscriber easy yeah. easy <laughs> Thanks, Chad. What are you talking about? The city? yeah, the city. The, the lights. It looks brighter in the camera than it does in real life. It's really cool with the lights. Dude, the clouds the, eliminated. Sorry, the rocks, walls, and Bisbee. Yeah, are bananas. They're the so the walls, like how they just carve out the oh, mountains yeah. in there. It's so big. I was just like, this coffee is phenomenal. Which one is that? Is Bisbee, that Bisbee, Bisbee, Bisbee Coffee Company. Also, I want to uh, direct your attention to, I don't know if you can get it online, but I'm going to say if the aroma is anything like the, the coffee, boys and girls, check this out, please. Get yourself some. It's actually, I thought it was going to be about $20 a bag. It was not. Mm. This is only $15, but actually less than that because I stole it. Oh. But uh, it, it is so. I asked him. I said, I, I want your strongest, meanest coffee. And he said, Ah, let me. Say. And and also, we, we, we he uh, yeah, he uh, that's a good German accent. <laughs> he had this little shop front, and he had had, had this really old um, uh, coffee roaster in the window. Still works. And he goes, Hey, you want to do a shot of espresso? I go, Yeah, if I could, yeah. Well, nobody ever offers me a shot. And I said, Yeah, yeah you know, yes, I do. And uh, he pours these two shots of espresso. And he had been doing this all day. And so it pours two, he does one, I do one, and it, it was, I mean, you smelled it. Yeah. That, yeah. Oh my God. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. There you yeah. Go. Oh. So, coffee time. I wonder time. how many he does a day. That's what I was thinking. Because <laughs> he wasn't, he wasn't slow. I mean, there was people, they, you know, it was overcast, a little bit chilly. Yeah. But my God, he was. Uh, I'm still enjoying my espresso from Presta, Tucson. Where? The, the, 
first coffee we got. Really? In that little the Mercado. My God. Little market. Yeah. It's aged very well. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they usually, a good coffee does. Yeah, because it was actually a black eye, but they, it's, it's still just tastes like a quadruple shot of espresso. Yeah. It's really good. How long is an espresso supposed to last? Like if you drink it, your coffee with two espressos in it. The red eye. We've, we've, we've had it last 12 hours in, 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 um, in the car. Like that's how yeah. long you should be. No, no, no. I mean, it's good. It, it's good for longer than that if you can stand it. But be, because it sits and it just, it, 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 it seems to, we used to say that early on when uh, a certain company that we won't name uh, used to, when, when they, when their coffee just went just down the crapper, we stopped going there because we, we, we'd started by just drinking these big black coffees. And then after a while, it, 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 it's, and it wasn't because our taste was, you know, you know, because we were getting used to it, it was the coffee was getting lighter and weaker, and you could actually see down the cup. You know, when you looked at the, you know, it's. I don't want to see anything in there. I, I just want to see my own ugly, mean reflection. You know, in the, like dark. It's got to be. Yeah. So, so then we started adding shots to it, and that was fine for a while. But then, even then, it became weaker yeah. and just, but not enjoyable. And I don't do it for the caffeine. Although it doesn't hurt, ladies. Uh, Good morning, you know. Yeah. But when you come across a boutique coffee shop like we did today, oh, here you go. Anytime you want, there's a sailor. When you come across great coffee like that, that stuff to me tastes good 10 hours later. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't usually last that long around me, but I just, I can drink it all day. Yeah. And my mother is, uh, she's probably watching today. Hi, mom. Yeah. That's where I got it from. She would drink it all day. Microwave, drink it, microwave, drink it you know, all day. And uh, I was like, well, good enough for her. Do you remember what you told me? Like, you introduced me to the idea of drinking cold you know, coffee you bought hot earlier in the day, and you just kind of nurse it the rest of the day. Which is where Beverly probably had a s***. Yeah, back when it was still good. Can, 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 can you bleep the name? I, please. Yeah, I'm going to bleep it, yeah. Thank you. This is when we're first getting to know each other. We're hanging out on Wednesday nights in Beverly, and you had your cold coffee. And you said, I said, what is that? How long? What did you buy? Oh, I bought this like early in the morning or early in the afternoon or whatever. I've been drinking it. Yeah. You know. So that's great. I love it. Cold coffee. It tastes like, you taste like cold coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I said that? Yeah. And that was one of my first. You had one of the first times that you said that. That was one of the first times you went, you went <laughs> colorful with the way you talk. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay. All right. Terrible. Terrible is listening to this. And everybody who's listening to me, they're like, what the hell did you say? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I would have been like, dude, I'm in the band. <laughs> Let me in, man. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's and good. he's kind of right. Yeah. So no, right, he's never wrong. <laughs> Thanks, Gio. Anyway, uh, yeah, very, very fun. Uh, and I have to say too about this. This was a very, very short jaunt. Um, as far as am I going straight? We good? Sorry, I don't, okay. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I know. I think it was eighty miles. I think we're good. Let me check. I know one point six miles. Make a left at the not this light. Yeah. So thank you. Um, there's a Chevron on the corner of Speedway too coming yes, up. Yes, okay. Thank you. Um, God, it was fun. Yeah. God, I mean, that's that's, that's what time. I was saying about this. So yes, this trip was short and uh, the, the, the gigs were great, blah, blah, blah. But I have to say, I, I, I don't remember laughing as much on any tour. As well. well, maybe the cock. The yeah. Blackbeard's black, 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 <laughs> cock. Oh, no, I'm going to put that. B roll, Q B roll. Oh my God. Cock. Was that the first tour? I think you yes, it. it was. Popo right there. Yeah, yeah, thank you. We were in um, Boston, we went to a uh, Home Depot. Yeah. Hello, officer. Yeah, you like that at all. Uh, sitting at the speed trap right now. I know. There. It's like you can get me for not wearing a seatbelt. Huh? Is he coming? Nope. Not yet. Um, uh, where are we? Where were we? Where is we? We're talking about the Blackguard's cock. Where is we? Bisbee. Yes. Oh, the Blackguard's cock. Oh, God. 
So, uh, was it you and Brian who started that joke? Because it was a joke in the van on the way up on the tour, and, and then we actually went out and bought caulk. Yeah, we went to the we and went to the like, with, with 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 the giggles. <laughs> we went to we went to um, like Home Depot. We or went something? to Home Depot and, and we hey, where's your caulk? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> hey, do, do you have a caulk? Do you have caulk? Hey, you know, you know, where's your? Oh my god! And we just uh, and we carried it around in the van. We ca- yeah, but we but we we actually cut a business card up. Yeah. So we put blackguards above <laughs> it, and we had. So it yeah, said blackguards. Like, I think it's time to resurrect the cop. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. there's this funny picture. I, I the only picture I think I have. Well, there must be other pictures. Left at this light. Yep. When we were at uh, Shave Shave Oval. Yeah. In, in uh, Boxborough, and it snowed uh, one afternoon. Or one morning, I guess we were there. It just snowed, and we got really excited. And we ran out and took all these pictures of us goofing around the snow. And at one point, you said, "Get the cock." <laughs> so we went. And I got no, this I picture. said, "No, I said, somebody go grab my cock." Is yeah. what I said. And so I've got this picture of you <laughs> with a cock in your back pocket, <laughs> you know, posing with your, you know, yeah. your back Hulk to the camera. Back pocket. So yeah, it's, <laughs> I, I cock shoved in my yeah. So anyway. Hey, anyway, this is a terrible episode. <laughs> <laughs> we start off at two oh sexy, and we're here we are. It's fitting. Two oh sixty. God, it's so funny. Yeah, but it's it, it's just crazy. You, you know, you become delirious from road hours. Va- va- you know, not just road and van and uh, you know hotel and that kind of stuff. But it really is. It's a grind because you have to you have to stay. My my good friend David Lee Roth would say, stay focused. That is paramount when you're in this because right now like I said you know, we're, we're, we're heading towards you know we're, we're, it, we're, we got a 15 hour drive to Houston and we don't uh, we don't plan on stopping you know unless the gas tank makes us we'll stop but um, you have to you really do you, you become frazzled Chad you said it tonight uh, numerous times uh, that there was you know my my, my, my I'm just seeing double or whatever it was you know I'm just spacing because it's so you know you gotta watch the van you gotta watch the stage you gotta watch the the, you know load the stuff out oh may we uh, just stop right now just acknowledge uh, our friend Teresa for helping us unload today it was starting to rain it was cold it wind was blowing and uh, she and Heidi lifted all the gear out while we sat and ate grapes on a couch so thank you very much, Teresa and uh, yes. Heidi. Yes. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. God, that was fun. What a fun weekend. So, Arizona, you're yeah. fucked. <laughs> We're coming back. Yep. Good stuff. Heck yeah. Good stuff. So do we have songs to kill? Yeah, good man? idea. Um, I'm going to start. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. There's a wonderful band. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm going to... This is coming out on top of my head. I'm, I'm going to take... Uh, I'm going to take a, uh, a song that people that people would really might not know a lot of Danzig, but my daughter used to listen to Glenn Danzig a lot. And I think Mother is a great pop song. I don't think it's a very evil song. Like, you, know, you think he was trying to do a... But I just think it's a great song. It's a great groove, and it's a great... Uh, you know? So... I would like to resurrect or shine a little light on our friend Glenn Danzig on Mother. I think it's a great song, and he's got he's got a couple of good songs. I did hear that the Elvis record that he sang was not was not good, so we'll leave it at that. Yeah, and then Gore saying, "Yeah, sorry, <laughs> you're right, you're right." Can't, <laughs> ar- can't argue. Um, and then, uh, so a song to kill. I'm going to go. Uh, Actually, screw it. No, I'm going to go uh, Social Distortion, Story of My Life. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I heard that on the thing. I actually heard Ball and Chain again for the first time in a long time. That came on today. Yeah, yeah. I, did, yeah. I didn't like I it. it. I didn't like I like our version. I didn't like theirs. Yeah. So we need to call. No, I, I, I like some of their stuff, but I, that Story of My Life, I don't like it. It sounds like he woke up. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, and, and oh, 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 oh. another one, another one. Psycho Billy freak out. Reverend Horton Heat, go check it out. God, I just love that guy. 
Oh, you were resurrecting that one? Yeah, I'm okay. just going to put a little light on that too. All right. That was, I was playing tonight. I was like, oh my God, I forgot how much I love him. And uh, uh, you didn't hear this from me, boys and girls, but there's a band in Portland, Maine called The Outsiders PBR. Yeah. And Elvirus, H. Christ 666, is the lead singer. And he's written a couple of songs, and one of them in particular ended up on a Reverend Horton Heat with a different name. And I'm saying it, he's not saying it. I'm saying it right here on Slappercast 206. Slappercast. Uh, I'm saying it right now. Very, very similar. Very, very fishy. <laughs> I'm going to say that, but yeah, Reverend Horton Heat. Bells of Cocaine, yes. Right. Psychobilly Freakout, yes. Liquor, beer, and wine, yes. yes. All right, keep going. Sorry. I'm going to resurrect a song, another, I'm going to resurrect another dancing song. 138. That came on today, too. Did you hear that Yes, one? I did. I did. That's what reminded me. Yeah. Yeah, that That's came right. on today, and I went, hell yeah. Dude. That's a good one. I was like, we should do this one. <laughs> Play it in practice. No, I like that song. All right. Hell yeah, dude. What you killing? I'm going to kill... Uh, <sighs> trying to debate which song but I'm going to kill the band because it came on today as well after the show and I I was like uh and Chad you brought it up and I was like uh, uh, is that yours to kill <laughs> god damn it are yeah. you killing that one too yeah that's alright we'll kill it together okay Ooh, pinky, pinky swear pinky swear <laughs> joint kill <laughs> joint kill I'll aim you fire alright do you know you, the title you, you, mean, you mean you'll pitch you'll catch no, that's what you said it. Do you know the title? Is it, uh... Because I looked it up. What is it? Violet. Violet. Dang it. By who? I can... By all. Courtney. Courtney Lay. love. Oh. Mm. No. I'm don't not, careful. You're not talking me out of it. It's bad. No, 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 no. I'm not. Oh, I'm, I'm, it's I'm, so I'm, difficult to listen to. I'm going to... It's gonna, so bad. I'm going to throw a rock in this. I'm going to say, uh... And, and I'm not... This is not a popular opinion, but I don't think that she has a bad voice. At times. I've heard some of the songs where I was like, oh, that's a good scream. I don't even know if it's just the voice. I think it's just the song. I, I, I don't I, know the song. I, I I'm think just, it's just... Yeah. I just... I, sometimes I'm... Sometimes I am... Uh, I'm skipping the track. Me? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I agree. I'm, I'm sure there's some terrible stuff, but... Uh, Pandora says, do you like this? I'm going, thanks. Yeah. All right, Chad, man, you're up. You're up. Yeah. No. And anybody who's like a rock, yeah, like I'm sure Tim, our friend Tim Avalo Elvirus is gonna scoff at this. Uh oh. Because he's, anybody who really knows Rockabilly is gonna be like, that's not, everybody knows this song. But uh, I didn't. I only, I would say recently, like in the past 15 years or something, I discovered Johnny Burnett, who was really one of the original Rockabilly uh, pioneers. And he's got a song called Lonesome Train on a Lonesome Track, which I just think is fucking awesome. So it's a song I think that I've always thought we could, we could pull off. Of course, any rockabilly stuff is, you know, kind of in, in our vein. It's something that we can we can draw upon. But do you know, do you guys, have you ever heard that one? I, 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 I know I have. Yeah. I just, at the moment, I'm drawing a blank. Yeah. Sing it. That's, I can't do this for you. <laughs> can, can, lonesome train, on oh, lonesome train. I don't know the words. They're coming back. Yeah, yeah, I know that one. Yeah, yeah, and it's just got a really the, just the way it's recorded and everything. It's just it's just a classic, you know, heavy room reverb, which is just the natural room it was recorded in for mostly, I think. And, you uh, think or you know? You talk to yeah, them. yeah. But it was what's what one of my favorite things about that song is that when he goes, ow, he screams, and it's like loud as shit. And it's at the point that it would it would it probably would startle you if you if you haven't heard the song before. It's like mixed way louder than they would do. You know, normally today, it's a very raw. Dig it, Daddy, da Daddy, done dig. Yeah, but there's a lot of great Johnny Brand stuff too. Let's just queue it up on Apple Music or whatever, Spotify, and just let it roll. All right. All right. And okay. oh, and so you're, you're taking that kill? Yeah. Okay. So you, so you just your, your work's done. Yeah. So you're just gonna just fucking. No, yeah. we're efficient. That was efficiently done. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we streamlined this process. I thought you were efficient <laughs> for an easier gig. Hey, yeah, let's see. Let's see. No, uh, no, it's cool. But yeah, so let's uh, let's let, let's wrap this baby up, as they say at the uh, the devil's house. We're, you know, we're looking forward forward to get back to Houston. But I'm going to promise you this: as sure as my name is Slappercast, I'm going to be on the phone with Arizona. We're going to be booking yeah. some shows. 
Hell yeah. yeah. That was a blast. Alrighty. All right. Hey, Patreon friends, thank you. Thank you again. Everybody for listening, thank you. Everybody yeah. that hit subscribe today, thank you. Yeah. Everybody that didn't kill a child today for Satan, thank you. I know it took a lot not to, but yeah. thank you. Well, Watch your calendars. Say no to drugs. Slap off to them. Okay. All right. Good night. Cheers.